Hello and welcome to the chapter on exponential functions and logarithmic functions. I want to give you a little introduction to the chapter. First thing we're going to do is look at some simple exponential functions that have this form. y is equal to b to the x. What makes this different than the functions that we've worked with before is now our independent variable or our input variable is an exponent. So we haven't seen that before. That makes this kind of an interesting function. Associated with it is a logarithmic function, y is equal to logarithm base b of x. We'll have to give a nice definition for that, but these two functions are related. And you have to notice the restriction on the base here is that the base has to be a positive number other than 1. And that becomes an important um, restriction on these bases, so we want to keep it in mind. Now, of uh, interest to us is going to be two uh, specific exponential and logarithmic functions, the natural exponential function and natural logarithmic function, where the base here is e. Now, e is a number like pi. It's an irrational number. Its definition actually involves a limit, so we'll see uh, how we can use our limit ideas in the actual definition for this irrational number e. So y equal e to the x is called the natural exponential function. y equal logarithm base e, we write like this, is the natural logarithmic function. Now, what's really interesting about these two functions is their derivatives. The derivative of y equal e to the x, as you'll see as we progress through this chapter, is the function itself, e to the x. So this function and its derivative are the same thing, meaning that every point on the graph of this function, the y-coordinate of that point happens to also be the slope of the line tangent to the curve at that point. So this function is its own derivative. Very interesting and makes all kinds of things possible because of that. The interesting thing about the logarithmic function, the natural logarithmic function, is this. Its derivative is just 1 over x. So this function right here is not what we call an algebraic function, but its derivative is. So this fact right here makes it possible for us to find all kinds of derivatives that we wouldn't ordinarily be able to find without it. So a couple of very interesting functions coming up in this chapter, natural exponential function, natural logarithmic function, and their derivatives are particularly interesting.